What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be running into how to write FAQ page schema markup to increase organic clicks to your website. So with Google announcing support for how to and FAQ page schema uh, as rich results on a Google search, you should be taking the time to add this structured data type to your web pages. While writing schema and adding it to your website may seem complicated, this video will take you step by step to create, validate, and add FAQ schema in as little as 20 minutes. So FAQ page schema is a type of structured data that Google uses to produce rich results for your page listings in the Google search results. When it's implemented correctly, a dropdown containing three or more questions will appear below your page for users to view before clicking through to your website. As an example, if you were to type in the query mortgage rates, you might see a couple of different uh, search results listings. And one example of FAQ page schema being implemented is from this bank rate search result. So when it's implemented correctly, um, a dropdown containing three of our questions will appear below your page for users to view before clicking through to your website. And having FAQ rich results will potentially increase your click-through rates and again, try more traffic to your site with little effort. One thing that's easily confused is the difference between FAQ and Q&A schema. FAQ page schema is typically used when you have a frequently asked question page or have product pages that list out FAQs for that specific product. And with Q&A schema, that's used when different types of answers are contributed by users and they can vote for which answer to the question is the best one. So when writing FAQ schema, the first thing is to consider which pages would be eligible to receive this schema markup. I've used Rocket Mortgage FAQs as an example of a standard FAQ page that would be eligible for this kind of schema and rich result, where it has very uh, standard dropdowns for frequently asked questions pertaining to their product. And so you'll need to go through and identify pages to add your FAQ schema markup to that follow a similar format. And then once you've come up with a list of URLs to include your schema markup for, the next step is to build out three questions to answer for your page and then generate the schema markup code for your page or your website. You can either do this manually, but I prefer to use a schema markup generator. My favorite one is technicalseo.com or Merkle, where it provides an assortment of schema markups that you can build out code for, and included is FAQ page schema. So we'll just click on that. And all you have to do is fill out the question that you want to include in the markup, as well as your answer, which will span from one to three sentences. So once you have filled out these two autofills, then you will simply copy that schema and then insert it into the header of your website. If you have a WordPress website and you aren't technically savvy, then you can add this, um, actually not this plugin, but there is a plugin by WP Beginner, which is very useful. Um, called insert, insert headers and footers. You would just basically add that to your WordPress play, page as a, uh, a plugin. And this plugin allows you to insert scripts into the header of your website or the footer, um, either site-wide or for specific and individual pages. So I have this on my website and it allows me to add schema markup on a individual page level uh, in a very quick manner. And so you would just take the code that you created via Merkle, copy it, and then paste it into the insert script head here from the plugin. And then you would either publish your page or you would update it with that schema markup. The next step after adding the schema markup to your page is ensuring that it is free of errors or warnings. So you'd validate your URL via 
Google's structured data testing tool. So you basically plug in your URL or you could copy and paste your code and run a test. And Google's structured data testing tool will tell you if there's any errors or warnings associated with your markup. In our case, there are no warnings here, which is great. But if there are, it would show you exactly where that error or warning is associated in your markup so you could clean it up and fix it. And the last thing you'll do is go into Google's rich results testing tool. And this tool functions somewhat similarly compared to the structured data testing tool. But what it allows you to do is look at a preview for your rich result and see what it might look like in the search results if you do rank for it. So what you'll do is uh, pre preview the results here, and then it will show you exactly what your schema markup will look like if it is eligible and does rank for a rich result, which is really cool to optimize for your uh, click-through rate and get more traffic coming to your web pages. So after validating, then you can track the progress via Google Search Console and see uh, what queries people are clicking through to for your website, um, for the rich result, what pages are receiving traffic from your rich result, how many impressions it's getting, um, and some other data there. So pretty succinct uh, walkthrough video of how to add FAQ page schema. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and I will see you all for the next tip video. Catch you later.